Hello and welcome to Rident's Halloween Horrors. Uh, my very first game that I'm going to be playing for this short series over the next couple of days is a game called Knock Knock. Uh, it's an indie game which I discovered on GOG a little while back and it's actually kind of creepy. It's um, it's a, uh, it's a 2D style game. You, you just uh, scroll between left and right on the screen, uh, up and down on floors, but uh, in this house place. But there's goings on that kind of get worse and worse as the game progresses. And I felt the game had a lot of good atmosphere. And we're going to work on. Uh, I'm going to go work on the game from the very beginning again uh, just so you can get a full flavour as to what it's like. Now what I'm going to do is play this for about an hour and then I will move on to another game. Uh, I'm not sure what I'm going to play yet but I'm going to have a look at my list, see what I've got downloaded and just play something which is a little bit on the creepy side. Um, so I hope you enjoy this one. If you bear with me I'm just going to put my headphones in so I can actually hear what's going on. as that kind of helps. a little bit tangled up here. Okay, okay now I can hear all the creepy noises. So here we go. Um, this is Knock Knock. Expect this to be very surreal. I wasn't sure what to make of this when I first played it. And it's in a funny language, if I recall. Oops, I actually pressed the button. I wanted to bring my. Twitch panels. So you can actually see if anyone's talking. Just gonna leave that up here. There we go. Sorry about that. I didn't actually want to cancel that, but I just want to hear, uh, see what people are saying. Um, as that does help when I'm live streaming. Um, so yeah, we're gonna hear a lot of these kind of weird creaking and knocking noises and we're gonna have to find out what the hell is going on in this place. Um, let's have a quick explore. Okay, so that's turning off the light. Let's to zoom in and out of the house place. Hold A. Let's get the light. Switch light working. So, when the room is dark, things happen, and we obviously want to avoid that kind of thing. 
Now the game I'm playing using a controller and you can, I mean the default thing is using the keyboard um, but it works quite nicely by default with a controller so um, just doing it using that for a bit of ease and to, to minimise tapping. So now we're uh, we're outside. I think we can go. Yeah, we can go between the layers and um, eventually end up. How I hide. Hey, Mr. Why is the guy talking like a minion? I, do you know, I don't know if that's anything to do with the uh, the place where this game was made, which I'm not too sure of its origin, um, or if it's just for the sake of the fact that this guy is just so weird. Let me sort the light bulb in this room. <laughs> Oh yeah, that's another cool thing. Like the um, once the light goes on, leave it well. Eyes adjust and things appear in the room. So we're going on until um until it's daybreak, I think. Okay. 
Right, so I just need to survive into a sunrise. Now, just to let you know, this is kind of just the very beginning, and things do start happening. And then it gets quite tense. <laughs> That was kind of weird. Thing is, I don't want to be in the dark for too long. Okay, give it time. My eyes will adjust, and hopefully, something else will appear in the room. Slender Man is a good one. Um, it's nice and short, and I mean, I haven't played a rival, but um, the original Slender Man was kind of nice and short, and just works perfectly for uh, short streams. Do you know? What? I think this guy is on something. See if my eyes adjust. Oh shit! <laughs> Just when you thought about it, it came in. <laughs> what the fuck was that? <laughs> Wait. I think the idea on this is you've got to kind of work your way around the map here. Look at that, 
So let's, uh, which way should I go? Well, that. Just your eyes. No, nothing here. <laughs> Do this light. So let's see if his eyes adjust and he. Nope, nothing there. Is here. There could be a sudden door. Side.
the next nightmare. Let's experiment this way. Okay, the house is a bit bigger. Okay, whatever that was. Just need to remember to turn the light off when I go. Okay, so whenever I leave a room, I want to turn the light off. I assume that means there's something in that room. That's a good thing or a bad thing. I don't even know if we want to go out of here. Again, I got seen.
Oh, I see him. He's up there. Do you hear this? Scene. Hey, you. Hmm. Where the hell did he disappear to? Um. Oh crap! I needed the light off, didn't I? Because you can't see him unless the light's off. Light. So I've got to fix it again. You thought about it. And Wait there now. Okay. It is inside. Oh shit. Just when you thought about it, it came in. I should turn the light off again. going backwards. Okay, so I need the light on. You thought about it. And right then, it wasn't Stay where you
see what's up here. Just eyes adjust. Just just when you thought about it, it came in. all of these. Shit. Hey you. I'm done for. Sure, there's got to be something else in this room. Wait. That's... Anything else? Just when you thought of it, <laughs> it came in. Bollocks. Hmm. So the idea is I need to find as many of those time things as I can just to progress the time quickly. <laughs> Excellent, 
I get to eliminate it and get Can I do the lights? Anything here? No. Come on, there has to be a timer. Can I make sure I switch the lights? Maybe there is a timer in here, we just haven't found it yet. gonna give up on this for the night um, but I'm gonna get on to another game uh, I've got a few things on my on my list some different kind of uh, creepy games but this is called knock knock if you wanted to try it out yourself um, it's dirt cheap on both Steam and GOG right now so um, might be worth picking up if you think you can do better than I can with regards to finally completing timers and hiding away from the ghosts. Um, all that jibber jabber. If you give me about 10 minutes or so, I should be on with the next game. Um, I'll see what I've got. See you in a bit. Bye.